Well, I've been cooking since probably the age of nine or 10. And I come from a big Italian family, so Sunday dinners are always great. And I remember sneaking upstairs and she was drying noodles on the bed. I would steal the noodles and run back downstairs. And just the food that she would make really got me interested in a lot of, a lot of different things. Being a chef, learning about food is a never-ending process. It goes on every day of your life. It becomes part of your life. And you're always exploring new flavors, new techniques. Of course, you need to know all of the foundations, uh, the basic techniques, the basic elements of flavor. But once you learn those, then you can start to stray outside of what, I don't know, what we would consider the normal bounds. And then you have a chance to really create some really interesting and wonderful things. You, you always see the end product, but you don't really see how it comes together through the whole process. And, and that they can take four and a half or five hours to put something together like that is, is interesting. People think, you know, you just scoop it out and throw something on a plate and that's the magic happens. But there's a lot that goes into it, sometimes days or weeks. The lecture, uh... It gets us ready for what we're gonna do for the day. We discuss what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. And then being in lab is my favorite part of the day just because you're in the kitchen, it's hot, you get to actually make the food and then you present it and then you get to eat. We're looking at uh, our fall 15 class right now and the number of applications, we have a 21% increase. So we're, we're really pleased with that um, given the, the drop in high school graduates uh, within the state of Pennsylvania. This is really exciting for us moving into the, uh, the academic year. So the students, culinary students, when they graduate from the culinary program, they have 42 credits that will transfer into the hospitality management program on the Indiana campus. And it works really well because they're able to complete both programs in four years. Um, so they're able to graduate with a bachelor degree in four years, but they also have the culinary training to go along with the bachelor degree. And that really helps them in the field because they have a, an extra understanding of what's really happening in the kitchens. Um, well, I toured the campus a couple times, like main campus in here, like the Indian in here. Also, I did the Culinary Institute, like I, I did CIA and Johnson & Wales at Miami campus, but I felt as though this one was a better pick. Like, I liked how the teachers are like one-on-one -on -one with you, instead of having like a big class, it's one teacher and, and they help you. So it's like, I like the connection that the teachers have with the students. So next on the list, Remember we talked about this yesterday, the four things we need to have on a plate in fine dining? Who remembers? Uh, you need your protein. Protein. Next. Oh, okay. Who else? You go, you go. <laughs> we need your vegetable. Vegetable. Sauce. Sauce and? Starch. Yes. Good. So, we're going to work on our starch at the moment. Uh, there's been a lot of exposure in the cinema world with chefs. Uh, there's been a lot of exposure on television. There is a whole network dedicated to just food, but a lot of other you know, places are getting involved and people seem to be more interested in it. The, the shows and the things that they see on TV are way different than what it is to actually have the job to be a cook or a culinarian, to be a chef in the industry. It is a lot of hard work. It's a it's a bit more fast paced than maybe what you're ready for. You gotta think of your shift cooking, uh, especially during the rush, like an athlete, like a boxer prepares for a fight, and you gotta keep your hands ready so that when it's time to get things done quickly, then you move quickly and efficiently. We need to get that into our sauce, so we need to deglaze. The kitchen can turn into chaos very quickly, so having your mise en place, being ready to go, can help make things run smoothly. Mise en place, everything is placed. Just all your equipment, all your vegetables, anything that you need for that dish, you, like that's mise en place. 
time they tell you what your presentation time is, if all your mise en place is like scattered everywhere and you're just now getting it one by one, your dish will never make it on time. And then you get yelled at. <laughs> the industry that I used to be in it was kind of on the small side, especially with my background. It kind of limited me. You can go lots of places, you know, whether you want to so bake or cook. Um, there's always opportunities out there. Coming towards school to be a, a chef. Just knowing the fact that as soon as I'm done at IUP, I can go to externship and they're probably more than likely gonna keep me on. I'll have a job right out of college. The IUP Punks School really, I mean, it, it, those kids are really well prepared. I mean, they know pretty much how to do everything. So it, they know how to cook. I don't have to teach them how to cook. I don't have to teach them knife skills. They know how to break down an onion and they know how to break down a chicken or a sardine or whatever it is that they get handed. I can list a recipe and they can, and I can walk away and go upstairs and take care of my baby and check on things um, at the other restaurant and know that they are going to do the recipe the way, the way a cook knows how to do it. That's what the students get here. They get a real honest, um, real life experience and are, are put in, I think, put towards the correct direction. Uh, upon leaving, and they do very, very well. Uh, we have students now, um, I just talked to the human resource director at the Pinehurst Resort in North Carolina, and he told me uh, how all about the students that have climbed up the ladder there and our sous chefs and demi chefs and pastry chefs, and uh, you know that's what we typically hear is how, how well they do and how quickly they move up into those types of jobs. Uh, well, you definitely have to be fast on your feet. You have to be able to think quickly about what you want to do, detail-oriented, got to be able to cut stuff quickly. Um, to be a quality chef, I think you need to have like a good personal or personality and like good personal skills with other people to make sure that as a leader you're, you're moving for yourself, but also like as a team. You need to understand, like learning how to understand your team and like what makes them motivated and what gets them going so you guys can run a successful kitchen. You want to make your food great. You want to make people want to eat it some more and come back to your restaurant. If you go somewhere that's the food's bland and it's not, you know, it's overcooked, you don't want to go there. You want a chef that's that can that knows what they're doing and can season good food and, you know, put out the best. We do see changes in our students from the time they walk in the door on the very first day to when they finally graduate and they're walking at graduation day and they get the tall hat like all of us chefs wear. So that's, that's what they're, they're shooting for. They all want these, these really tall hats. So there are a lot of skills that they need to learn and through building on these skills, they're gaining confidence the whole time. Um, and they're ready to cook, they come prepared. Recipes are written, they've gone over them. And by the time we see them in the last semester, they're putting together all the pieces that we have shown them everything sort of falls into place and they get to see what they can do. They don't realize what they can do yet. And it's nice to see the looks on their face and the smiles when people come through and taste their food and they're getting these great reviews and people are just going crazy over what they have, they have created and the smiles just get bigger and bigger and the confidence just grows.